Gamers, today we're back with this beautiful woman for episode number two, Coaching Women to Conquer. We got the Christmas tree set up right there. The dog I'm is not going to knock it over. Me. I'm just, you know, just touching be, be careful. Women, now tell me, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so basically after how many days? Five days? I haven't played today. Today was a bit rough. Too many, too many things going on. But the previous day, so you can't go to bed until. No, no, no I'm not going to you bed. You do ten games. No, I'll do five. Eight. Okay. You can say six. Six. No, eight. <laughs> okay. So basically, <laughs> after I've been playing for let's say five days. Um, I've been feeling myself do things a little bit more mechanically, like they're part of what I do already. So I can feel myself, sometimes I misclick the TC, I, I'm still getting there, and make a villager. So instead of making a villager, I control group it instantly. I don't know why, it's just like, it's, it's still fitting into the puzzle. But I can feel myself clicking on the villagers instantly, going on the sheep, the sheep moving, then putting the scout all around. I make mistakes all the time, but I can feel it becoming more natural, mm. a lot more natural. I'm yeah, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel my movements, my uh, clicking and putting all the, the buttons in the right places. I can feel it becoming more natural. So okay. I started the challenge at gold two and I can feel I'm not gold two anymore. I can feel I'm a solid gold two. What are your rank one. right now? Flat two. But I got lucky. I, I, I was going to say how many points, but I actually don't know the points. <laughs> well, so never mind. So I, I got lucky in flat two. I'm not flat two yet, even though I'm ranked flat two, I'm flat one. All right. So we're gonna check out three games today, maybe two. We'll see how much time we got. Mm -hmm. So this is what was your W not capital? I don't know. So you gotta fix that first. <laughs> All right, let's check your builder. So okay, yes, okay, it's moves the little sheep. All right. I did it. Okay. Found it. Okay, I that scout. You could. What I like to do instead of like clicking and ugly, I just click the scout like here, and, the and then I sheep. Yeah, so I would click like there, let's say, and he would go here. So I just boop, boop, yeah, and let him run. That's huh? what I try to do, mm -hmm. and then I get all confused. <laughs> okay, look at that. Oh, but that one is still running all the uh, way to China. Uh, uh, yeah, well, how, why is that happening? Okay. You didn't somewhere? rally it onto the but thing. But even when I sometimes yeah, rally yeah, yeah. it. Sometimes, oh. yeah, that's a bug. So if, okay, if they're okay. too close, so if you rallied it to this one, it would be fine. Mm. But because you rallied it to, or not that one, but if you yeah. rallied it to these two, it will do that. If you notice it do that, you click here and then you shift on the thing. Oh, okay, okay. Because so then it's gonna pop yeah, on yeah. Right it happened yeah, a few times a and I was like, am I just dumb? And yeah, the answer is probably yes sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a bug. Okay. So the way you want to scout is you want to go to the middle and then right. Mm -hmm. So the reason you want to do that is that way you cover the most space. Okay. Also going this far away from your TC, you might run out of sheep. Yeah, so I get careful. several you need, if you're Yeah, if you're gonna YOLO like this, you need four to five sheep under your TC before you do this, mm. so... But you shouldn't like go get 4th sheep, then go back, then go again. Mm. It, only if like, like if you picked up this one and this one, and then you went, like that would be okay, but... In general, you go to the middle, and usually if you see their scout, you turn left or right. Okay, I like that, thank you, that's a huge step. Where's my, my sticky notes? Ah, it's fine, I'll just memorize this one. Guys, write this into Twitch chat, <laughs> send me right. this on Discord. Keep track! Yeah, well. Alright. Okay, now I have a question about this. Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, if I send that guy directly to my gold... The mining camp is not finished. Yes, yeah. and he starts running back. He, you need, he needs to tap like 10%. Okay. So what you can do is uh, either have him mine now, mm -hmm. and then when you see him go back, mm -hmm. you just click the mining camp and he's gonna build and drop off. Or you build like this, and now it's fine to send him to my... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this it's like, sure. yeah, it's... It's just what happens. There's mm. no way around it. Okay, and now... Oh, no. I, oh, I tried a machine gun and I was like, damn. Oh, you gotta be quicker with that. Okay, yeah. All I right. did almost machine gun it. It usually works. But the higher they are, the less it works. Fucking diamonds. Well, I had a conquer guy run into my TC <laughs> the other day and he left the game immediately after. Lost a bunch of sheep. Alright. Um... Welcome. Wait. <laughs> Okay, nice sheep leaving right here. Also, one thing that you'll notice mm -hmm. is whenever you see his scouts. So, oh, if you look at your POV now, shit, so first of all, that's a that's a bad pattern. 
Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is go here and then go like here mm -hmm. and around the edges, drop off and then down. Okay. Your pattern is like, and then you went through the same spot here mm -hmm. and then you dropped off and there's no natural way of going anywhere. Yeah. But because you saw him there, I don't know if you've seen him or not, yeah, yeah, yeah. but because he's going up, there's no point to try to chase, obviously, so you have to go down. Okay. Uh. So basically, I need to scalp my hey, so Oh. Yeah, oh, so nice and I just, oh my gosh, that's... I was like, oh, I need to go scout his base. You need another villager here. We need oh, four to each other. It's random, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. That is fine, but yeah, he's gonna get all the sheep here because... Yeah, again, if you look at your scouting pattern, no yeah, bueno. That's embarrassing. And now you're going to scout him, but there's no need. This is, first of all, this is a too early scout. You, you want to scout their base? Mm -hmm. As your longbows are moving out, because there's nothing, like, there's nothing to oh. scout. Like, who cares where his gold is right that now? Makes sense. Because by the time you're gonna start coming out, all the sheep are done. So you wanna oh. collect sheep now and not scout. Okay. But yeah, this is gonna make yeah, it so you have to go farm really early. So mm -hmm. that's not good for your eco. You do see mine work, which is trash. But it might. Be but this fun. means all in slash rush low leagues. Really? Yeah. And because diamonds counts as low league. Yeah. Okay. So, he is... This is for... Do you know what it does? No. Holy Axis shit. Black shit. No, it's literally the worst landmark. He fuck... No, I know why he clapped me now. Yeah. yeah, so if they go for this, they're usually going for Burger Palace or just rushing in feudal and upgrading mm. stuff. And it's extremely all in. Like, it's not supposed to... Look at this being in China. Why are they in China? Could he improve well, from watching yeah, this Yeah, look, guy? like you see, he's so far away. It's, okay. it's very inefficient. And also, his villagers are all on one sheet, so that's not good either. Like, this is way better. No, I just needed to know what my micro palace Okay. So, you made a barracks. Okay. Uh, and you're making spears. Okay. So, making bear. First of all, you want to make barracks here. Because now this is blocking potential. This Not potential, this is blocking farms. Oh, to... on this yeah, thing. this is blocking farms. Okay. So, you want to build it with one of the villagers from Council Hall. Just build oh, it here. Okay. Uh, and you would ra like you want to build the initial first two, three spears, mm -hmm. like you usually do, and, and then longbows. And then, by then, you should see what unicorn he goes. So right here, you can see he's going barracks. He's going you see no arms. stable. Yeah, he's going man at arms because they tree. And with this, you can see he's instantly getting marching trails. No and all his upgrades are cut cheap there. So, I, initial few spears is okay. Mm -hmm. Just to do damage. Also, you, you do not pull the village. That is a mistake. You are not making enough units to justify having a villager making mm -hmm. a tower. And okay. also, if he kills your units, you can defend that tower, so you're gonna lose it. So this mm -hmm. is no bueno. Which is you what need... happened. Spoilers! Yeah. yeah. Hey, so, 13 on wood. That's also too many on wood. Okay. I need you to need... have 11 on wood, then on stone. Yeah. And also the villager you sent is uh, I do Monk. Okay. Um, so yeah, the first, if you did like 4 or 5 longbows and then 2 3 spears, also you're making a man at arm now, which is costing you gold. Whoa, which I did. you don't really need. Okay. Like, it's not gonna change oh, the, much here. The reason I made Men at Arms, and tell me, tell me about my logic here, is because I was like, oh, he's going barracks, so I'm gonna go Men at Arms because he's gonna have Men at Arms. Mm, no. Okay. Like, after, yes, but no, no, there's no. Okay, you're not killing him with one Men at Arms. So, after that, like, once this is over and you have second DC, Going meta arm longbow is better, yeah, mm -hmm. than spear longbow, but right now it's just... So, what do I do when I see he has my arms? He's got my arms. You just get second T... He can't kill you, you just go second TC and then you mass longbow. Mm -hmm. I would probably do, like, man at arm and just mass longbow. Mm -hmm. And just kite, like, he, he can't kill you, you can kite him forever. Really? Yeah, so especially under TC, he's gonna just melt completely. And this build... And it has no Akim Chapel, so it's like he's not gonna have farms. So his eco is on a timer. 
So if you get your farms, and also these are bad houses, you want to put farms here. So your houses, like, here should be here, then houses should be there. So that when you get attacked, you can kite in between the houses and the units choke up. Mm. So the farm on this side is not the ideal farm, because you can come from that side and come back. This is another thing you should not do, your shift queuing. Mm -hmm. So what they're going to do now is they're going to build this and no one's going to go on that. Okay. Yes! Oh, you build, I understand! And then you right click on the mill and they're gonna build it well. Oh, really? Yeah. So the problem isn't with two farms because they build fast. The problem is if you do this with eight, this with eight you're losing a lot of resources. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. How, so how does it work? You. So what you want to do is QW for mill and then you QA, hold shift, tap on the mill eight times and then you right click the villagers in the mill. So really? you do do it with oh. shift, but once you right click on the mill, they will build it mm. and, and then they're going to build the farms. farms, but they're going to go on them and also okay. if they had wood, I don't know if you notice, but when I play, I take the wood villagers, I don't put them on lumber and then I go build. Mm. You can instantly go build because when whenever they finish a gathering building, they're going to drop off whatever resources they're having. Okay, that was another question. I've tested that and it, for me, it didn't always work. I was doing it with uh, Because Minecraft. you're shift queuing. Really? Yeah, I can show you after. Okay. It always works. Okay, cool. Because I was wondering about that. Because now I drop all. Yeah, every only if you shift Q, it doesn't work. Okay, so up until this point, I'm ahead in points at least because I'm making more units and I guess a score doesn't matter. Oh, a score doesn't matter at all. Okay. Now I yeah. Just... So this also, what is the so what is the goal of this tower? This tower was me panicking because I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do against men at arms. Okay. So whenever you do do a tower, I mean, again, yeah, you never do it with that. the first push, but you want to deny something. This is not denying anything. It's yes. denying wood, which HRE does not need. If you did it here, that'd be okay. You deny this and that. Okay. But tower here doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, but yeah, in general, never bring a villager and start. And now I'm... Now you could be harassing already. But I, instead, I was scared of the man oh. The thing is, if you made this many units, just poke the gold and then just ran. Like, you did enough damage, you're forcing him to make units, and then you get your second TC, and then you're gonna have better unit production. Okay. And that's it from there. You'll see, he's gonna exhaust this extremely quickly, and then he's gonna be fucked. So now, here, you need to use your longbows to kite. Like, they should already be here, so, so that you they're not in melee. So now I'm trying it. And now you're doing that thing that I told you, where it, you're kiting him towards your base. Yeah. So he's gonna kill all your units, and then he's gonna be here, and then he's gonna attack your base. Mm. If you kited him here, you're mm -hmm. buying yourself time. Okay. And you could also, like, the reason why this is not done at pro level is what I would have Still done, bold. or yeah, even yeah, like yeah. conquer. When he attacks here, I would just run my longbows here, kill these okay. villagers, run it around, kill these villagers. Because he can't... That's why people don't rush men at arms like this, into yeah. English specifically, because you can just run around. Oh. And they can't catch up. Um, another thing you can do against this is go double stable horsemen. Okay. And then when he goes spears, you go longbows. So you're basically forcing him into going spears, but then you have longbows which kill him. But how do horsemen do against... Um... I mean, they do better, you can also pick them off, but mm. easier probably is just longbow meta arm from your side. Okay. Yeah, so your TC is extremely late, it yeah, should be already yeah. done by now. Yeah, I remember, I was playing in this game so much because the guy was dying. Yeah. Never, oh, never farms in the front you because you can just burn them down, as you will see very soon. Well, the moment he attacks, that's the first thing that's gonna go idle. And you don't want your farms going idle ever. Where are you gonna put second DC, do you know? Um, I wanted to put it on food um, at the back, but instead I was dumb enough to put it at the front, and that's where I lost. So second DC in this case, I would put it here. Uh -huh. Because you protect the gold and you protect these farms. So... Then if you have one farm land here, one farm land here, TC to protect the gold, and one farm land here, your wood's not protected, but wood is not that important. If you can also spam at arms and he makes men arms, yeah, this is yeah. very optimistic. And then I, I was like, oh, hello, I didn't know that you had a whole party waiting for me. Your scout is dead. Yeah. 
Um, also here you can defend very easily. Oh, uh, line of yeah, yeah. here and line here, and that's it. This is where I, I realized that there's no arms coming to me, so I'm like, okay, boy, just come off, get inside, and I hope for the fucking best. Yeah. So the problem <laughs> is, you're building a TC now when you're supposed to be building units, mm. and you were building units when you're supposed to be building TC. Or the okay. building units was fine, it's just your second TC is too late. I, I don't know how to Yeah, like oh. two, three spears, four, five longbows. That's more than okay. enough. You just want to force your opponent to you to make units, uh, and then get the head economically. You don't want to. Excuse me, it's small letters. You don't want to overmake. So. Okay. All right, but uh, yeah, you you gotta stick to your build and, mm -hmm. and never bring a villager. Like I know okay. sometimes it's like, oh, if I bring a vi villager, no, no. Okay. It's not, it's, uh, it's not worth it. Okay. Look at it this way, it's like, you don't need to experiment with stuff, you got the recipe. Mm -hmm. So you're like, maybe I should add three kilos of sugar in, in this, uh, cake. no, in this like uh, cheese uh, salty meal. It's like, no, it, sugar doesn't work. <laughs> I tried it. Cool, All right, so let's it. see this one. Bandit. Like, so you yeah, see, again, you're, you're uh, I'm dragging your... Time, yeah. Yeah. So that might seem like a small thing, but if you're running towards the middle, mm -hmm. sometimes there's sheep here, and if he gets to the middle first, he takes the three yeah. sheep, and you lose them because you did that. Okay, so basically send it to the middle. Okay, so for myself, I'm making notes, mental notes of send your scout through the middle. Uh, don't early scout his base because it's not necessary. You're literally. I can just go grab a notebook. You know? Okay, that's a very good Let's idea. See. Thank you. I'm not sure. Cheers. So, big problems. The scouting again is very <laughs> not good. Okay. So and also the chat, the council positioning is not good. Okay. So scout. We run middle. Yeah, and then you go left or right. Okay, if the dog needs attention, it's not. Eat it, eat it. Eat it. Okay. Council hall is in a bad position. It should be here. Okay, why? Because you're blocking farms. Again. Oh, yes, but. This is! Okay. This okay. is! So, so this is one farmland, this is another farmland, this is another oh, yeah, farmland, this is, this is another okay, farmland. Okay, so farms on. Farms behind TC. Like this, the, okay. So out of the whole, th this is what you need to say for farms. This is okay to build. This, this side. Really? This is not okay at all. Including this and this and this and this. And this is not okay. This house is fine because you can fit eight farms here. Okay. Don't block farms. Block possible Yaru. farms. Yaru. I can already see the same thing happening. You're gonna build farms here, it's gonna attack, and you're gonna idle all your farms. And that's a problem. Because, uh, yeah. You ran out of sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, that was a few embarrassing. The game so see what I mean? See, look, this is what you did. Uh -huh. You went from here, like this. You went around. You didn't even scout everything, so you probably missed a sheep. Let's see. Okay. Lucky. Okay, luckily you didn't, but it could have been. And then you went back to your base, and then instead of scouting here, oh. Hello. you went to the same path again. Okay. You should never cross same path twice, because it's uh, inefficient. If you look from him... What? Holy shit, he scouted like the he, whole Like, he has double scout, oh, but... Okay, I was gonna say, down, yeah, but... <laughs> You can see he, he's revealed way more, yeah. and one of his scouts went into your side, and one of his scouts cleared his side. Mm -hmm. And that's why 
a lot of players open to scouts. So if you go on his side, so for example, if you go through the middle and then you go here, if he started like this, and then you're like, oh, there's no sheep, I'm gonna go back. You follow his scout. Mm. That's why you can't have, you, it's too risky. So that's yeah. why you go to the middle. If you see a scout, you immediately turn down okay. like this or up. Okay. But if you commit to his base, you might be following his scout. And that's the worst thing that can happen. Okay. Maybe the next right. Oh. No. Here I shot. I mean, this would be okay if this was there, but yeah. Okay. Okay, build is better this time. Build food. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I do the one. That makes a massive difference. Barry has the lowest gathering rate, so it's pretty bad for Yeah, that's Okay. You are attacking Yaru to work. The wrong side. Yeah. You're supposed to like this is perfect. Why didn't I this is perfect the here, side? then here, then here. Why Instead you attack the second <laughs> Why did I attack the wrong side like that? Well there's nothing there. So you're gonna arrive here? Let's see if you even attack. Oh I wanted to I guess I wanted to do that. I lost the hit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me watch Stay this, it's so painful! Yeah, meanwhile he's getting a stone. Yeah. And, and you're... Like, oh, I made him make units. Yeah, yeah. I realized well, that you know why much. he counterattacked? Why? Because he's like, oh, she's running north. I'll just attack her instead. If he came through here, you would mm -hmm. run into his units. Oh, no. But yeah, but instead I was you went around and he has both scouts here, so yeah. he sees that there's nothing here, so he decides to go for us. Like right now, this isn't like it's not over, like lost game, GG. Uh, but this, this ain't a good position. I, I feel my, I feel myself going a lot better with the spearmen though. Like I can feel myself like running around the spearmen the whole time. I really love them. Thank oh, you. That's good. That's good. I love that you teach me that. So. Oh, did you even see that he's going for a second TC or not? No, no. See, that's the that's the problem with scouting. So now if you knew he's going to... Look, he has no units. Mm, he's and nothing. That's I should have reacted. So if you actually attacked here, if you had yeah, scouting, that's a TC cancel and oh then uh, it's over. Yeah. So, right now you're very behind, but mm -hmm. if you actually saw what he was doing, you pushed, then suddenly the game is terrible for him. Okay. Because then he has to cancel, then these nine villagers are running. I don't know where they're gonna run. Because there's actually no good TC spots. The maybe. thing is, I knew he was going second TC because I saw him on stone. And I still didn't go and scout for some reason. Did you see the stone? Yes, oh, I didn't see the stone. Hmm. Okay. Scout better. Noted. Attack better locations. Attack better. <laughs> because if you attacked at that spot, you would have seen what he's going to Like right now, you're behind. Again, it's not necessarily game over, but you are behind. Uh, this is why it ain't great to have, like uh, mill this far, because these villagers are very. Bring the scout Also, one thing that I noticed, you did this earlier. You know you should build your TC on, on top of yeah, yeah, but what I did, you'll see later, I chased them into my TC. <laughs> yeah, but you can just build, so if you uh, build on top, they're gonna, so the, um, the way, this is the way deer work, and I don't know if people know this. So deer have a spawn location, so this is a spawn location, mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. You tired? I'm doing it, but I'm listening. So this is a spawn location, so if you push this deer here, it's not gonna stay there, it's gonna go back here eventually. So the point is, if you build a TC here, you're gonna push them out and they're gonna slowly go in and that's when you snipe them. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but is that a good TC No, it should be here. Uh, except for the fact that it's it. Is it okay that it's on the food source? E I, if you had better map control, I mean you have so yeah, many wait, units but you're not attacking yeah. at all. Like, you can still kill his yeah, army completely. I would probably put TC here. 
because it's gonna serve as a you're gonna have more vision. Okay. It's gonna give you attack speed aura. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have you're gonna have control way. over the middle, and you get woodline protected. So this woodline is actually protected fully. Mm -hmm. You get the deer and you get the bears, mm -hmm. and your gold would be very close here. So okay. this TC is very far. Another problem is when this TC runs out of deer, then the workers have to run from there all the way to there. But if you put the TC here. Every resource is close by to rally. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty great. Okay, so better TC Tanks. position. I mean, better TC position is like a very broad term because mm. what is a. It depends from game to game, right? Yeah, yeah but. Like, if you're getting rushed and you're losing, I can't be like, yeah, make it here and yeah, just yeah, die. Course, course. You know? But. You should have the pressure. Like, look at my scout. He's just like on vacation right now. I was like, you've you run us. enough. Let's see, what are you doing? Yeah, so right now you have zero scouting, you have no idea what he's doing, you have no idea where his army is. <laughs> yeah, so you always gotta ask yourself, do I know what he's doing? If the answer is, I don't know what he's doing, that's a problem. Because like me in my games, when people ask me why do you never die to cheese, it's because I always know what the opponent is doing. doing. So if I know that the opponent is tower rushing, I'm not gonna die to tower rush. If I know that the opponent is trying to fire lance or snipe my landmarks, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna die to it. If I know that the knights are coming, I, I won't die to mass knights because mm -hmm. I scout. So right now you have no clue what he's doing. And yeah, it's just uh, waiting for the attack. He, yeah. Yeah. This is why I struggle the most. This has been every single game I lose. I don't know what to do after my initial attack. So what you're telling me is, I need to attack. Scout. <laughs> attack. It's easier said than done. He, again, he cannot have more units. It's yeah. not possible. Look. Yeah, but I where, where is his army? Because I didn't scout. It's not my move. No, no, no. I know, yeah, but even if, um, uh, so, uh, I covered this the first time we did it. So there. It's not possible if you put pressure and you trade somewhat even, get a second TC and you make units again. It's not possible for him to have so many units he completely beats everything and then wins again. It's simply not possible because of the gathering. He needs to gather resources and he cannot gather them that fast. That's why you also have a scout. You get to his base, you see, oh, that's too many units, you just go back, right? But I think it's because he attacked you, you think like, okay, now I have to defend. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the gold mindset. And now you're giving up the whole map. Yeah, and he's slowly. Look, exploring. he's building a tower for vision, I assume. Yeah, I see. He is walling you off on the bottom side. I'm just like, I just like. don't need this. <laughs> right here. Oh, and then I didn't realize, as you can see, I just had a slaughter house. Yeah. This is when I play off stream. I listen to music sometimes, and I think this is what I'm doing this game as well. And by the time I realized, I was like, oh, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> and then he was like, actually, I think I'm gonna take that down. And this is over. Pretty mm. houses. I mean, yeah. At this point, it's. He has full map control, he has way more production than you, you're in one barracks still. Yeah. He is on like a bunch. Um, Look at all my resources I can spend. That's a lot on gold. Mm -hmm. But you're getting upgrades, right? Yeah. What's the first day? I think. Not at that point, now. You had one wheelbarrow <laughs> and you had 1000 gold. I found so. wheelbarrow! 155 stone over mine. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. so don't Not the greatest mind. game, yeah. but guys, we are looking at losses. Yeah, we're right? really looking at losses. I'm sure in the wins, she's done things better, which is why she won. So we gotta look why she loses when she loses. Yeah. You're mining stone again. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go for a keep. For a keep? <laughs> yeah, and, and, like I'm like, I'm gonna age up and get a keep. <laughs> Yeah. Not much to see that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to face the losses to improve. I mean, yeah. Yeah. 
can they not get a better search of them? Why? Oh, this is another diamond I played against. My goodness. You know how... Ilalu. It was... It, oh, I can't play Malians. This is where I need you. I have no idea what I'm doing. The moment they're Malians and they make that tower thing next to their gold, I'm just like, I'm done. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know how to harass them. Alright. Well, you know what the good thing about that tower is? Mm -hmm. It does an outrange long boss. Oh, so you can still... Smack the houses with. No, <laughs> okay. But I don't think this was the one where you made it. I just fucked up this one. Because I was like, oh my god, it's a diamond! But one thing I've noticed with myself that I'm very proud of when I do see I'm playing against a diamond, I'm not like, oh no, I should dodge. I'm like, I want to play against someone better and get me myself fucking smashed so I can learn from it. And you don't lose as many points. Really? Oh, the players are highly you lose That's great! Okay, this scouting also not... Okay, so on this It's very one. YOLO. You're gonna run out of sheep again. Yeah, I do. I know. <laughs> I, I can see it. Okay, that and one, bad position. Yeah, yeah, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> All three losses you've had, we, we're finding very <laughs> much so the same <laughs> things. Yeah. yeah. Running out of sheep. Bad scouting patterns. Yeah. Because again, look, you're gonna drop off, and now you're gonna go to the same place you scouted. Yeah. Look. Oh. Okay, you're gonna go here. You haven't scouted there. He's already yoinking. Where's that? And now where do you go? To the same spot. Council hall. No bueno. Because it's no dark spot. Because there's people. Okay. Then barracks right there. Mm -hmm. Alex, I didn't know before. No, we I'm just go. saying that's a rough barracks. <laughs> yeah. That's just a rough barracks. I'm just, I'm having a hard time. All right. <laughs> and now you're. <coughs> oh no. Okay, you're back on coal. What? Yeah, I actually did. Why you? Oh no. Because I'm sick. You just said your family was getting sick, and now I'm getting sick. I forgot to ride them back on the road. Yeah, but I was like, oh well, I'm, also, I'm so deep in. So, so you see, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to rally you guys. So that happened. Well, it's okay, you can get this now. Like, if you already have 100 gold, you might as well get some. Really? Yeah, I, what are you saving it for? I don't know, I was just not sure what to do. Or you can get this, this. Like, I would get one of those. If you're already okay. fucked up, it's fine. I'll just okay. get something out of it. Like, sometimes I get extra 50 stone. I don't see it, and I get extra 50 stone. So I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe. When I attack the next time, I'm gonna put a tower here and upgrade it as a mm -hmm. like a rally point. So you gotta make the most of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you live into your mistakes. You live with it and you just go. Yeah. It could happen. It's like you like you should use it because I'm just saying that. I thought this was a horrible attack. I just ran out of this and I'm like, oh. God. I don't even want to think. Like right now, I would go back already. Like, yeah, if you look. Yes, sir. You see, oh, barracks, two archer true. ranges, and also there's no landmark that you said that. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 not this one. Like usually, I would already run away. You, th this is the whole point. You mm. force them to make units. Just go back. Okay, okay. Because I didn't know when to go back. And now you just answered my question. Thank you. Yeah, I so you it. go yeah. back. If if the opponent has no units, you just do damage. Like you killed a scout. That's already that's already. That's value. Yeah. Like yeah, you made all these units. Okay. All these. You killed a scout. And you saw this, and he's making units. That's where you're already ahead. Okay. So I don't like, need to go kill a little house or something. No. To kill with. Okay. Not, the what point hell? of this is not to do damage. The point of this is to do damage if possible or force units. The problem with Malians is I'm so scared of Malians getting gold because I know what's about to happen to my face and my base. I mean, again, they cannot gather gold faster than, really? than normal. Yeah, no, like, but, but isn't their units more like easy, easily pumped out because of the gold? Gathering? In castle. Okay. Yeah, but they get to castle. The yeah, but first. you're gonna attack them before the castle. Really? Yeah, and if they do this, they can't. So oh, let me let me explain this. I this is the rules of RTS. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the military, the economy, and technology. So the mm -hmm. military in AO4 is military. Mm -hmm. The economy is economy, like second TC, third TC, whatever. Uh -huh. And technology is aging up. You cannot have two things at the same time. It's not possible. Okay. If he's making units, he cannot have a fast age of it, Like, you might think, oh, but he can rush. He can't. He because can't because the making... villagers gather 40 resources a minute. Mm -hmm. So that's 
it's out of option. So he made three production buildings. That means means he's making military. There's no second TC. That it's yeah. not. Look at his resources. Yeah. It's not even a possibility. Look at his food and gold. He cannot go castle. Yeah, I just need to back out here. Yeah. yeah, you just back out and that's it. And even if from here on out, let's say he goes castle, he stops making it. He already delayed his castle by probably seven or eight hundred resources. Damn. Which is enough time for you to go back and attack again before castle gets reached. So this is one thing that a lot of people don't understand. So it's a good question because a lot of people are like, but if I don't keep attacking, he's going to go castle. No, no, no. He, this is 450 wood. Just these three. Mm. Plus the guy that was building for probably 45 seconds to a minute. is another 40 resources. This unit is around 80 or 90 resources. This unit is 120 resources. He's making more. So his castle is very much delayed. Very, very much delayed. Just like you. Your second TC is delayed because you made units. Mm. But the point of you making units is to force Stop him it. to do the same. Because this is the way you should think about it. Too many wood. He doesn't know when you'll stop making units, especially because he just lost a scout. Mm. But you have that decision. So if you stop making units now and he keeps making, you're ahead. Okay, makes sense. Because my idea here was I need to keep making units because it's Mali and so I can give my ass out of the time with Mali. But now I understand. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. That was very insightful. So. Yeah, right now you just go back. Javelin throwers can be beaten with longbows, but you need to micro almost perfectly. They outrange. So longbows have seven tile range, these have six. You're not bad. You don't want to lose your scout. Yeah, you're still making units. We made way, way, way. It's because I was panicking. I really didn't know how to play against longbows, but you just exploded perfectly. I think now I'll definitely. <laughs> So right now you're making a tower because your stone gathering was delayed. You should be out of stone already. He's gonna attack this because you're on the sheep and it just kind of snowballs. Another thing is, uh, you're you're thinking about this in a more complicated way than you should. So you're thinking about like, oh, I don't know how to play against French or I don't know how to play against Malian, so I made more units. Mm. You don't like yeah. again. I gave you a build that works against everything except English versus English. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> so I made it, I gave you a build that works against anything except English, which we talked about. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need to worry what if they arrive, what if they rush castle. They won't. 100% they won't. Just do what you gotta do, practice it, mm -hmm. and don't be like, oh, but he made this, so I have to change my build. No. You don't have to change your builder, you just have to adjust how you use your units. And That's it. Do it more effectively. Um, yeah, with English versus English, I've noticed like as long as you win the longbow war, you're done. Like, he's dead. Yeah, some people play like that in Conquer. Then there's also when it gets to a bit higher, then people rush castle. Oh. And then you go mass knights. That's how English versus English is in really? Conquer. Yeah. Both players rush castle and then you mess knights because <laughs> knights in that matchup are very very good. Okay. Or sometimes one guy all ins and then you go knights and then you get knights and you win. Oh, because um, the moment you get a knight, you can just overpower all fifty longbows. Yeah. Okay. So Paradon. Oh, it's an effective one because they're gonna put a farm there and there and there and there. And there. Why are they not? <laughs> oh, there it is! What is that? Shift. I was, oh, I was no. like, so guys, when you're finished with those food sources, remember there's always farms yeah, so after. For those that don't know, <laughs> if you're so what she did, why they're not building, is she selected these four, as you can see. And she held shift and she went boop, 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 boop. So what that says to the villagers is once you finish all the berries, you're gonna make these four farms. So they have fun. They think about the future. Because the rest of my units aren't thinking about the future. They know they're What's about to die. So you went double horsemen here? Because mm -hmm. uh, someone said donzos get countered by horsemen. No, donzos counter horse. Uh. 
Okay. Javelin throwers, they can't buy horsemen. Oh yeah, then... Oh. And this is not a bad unit comp, by the way, against okay. Malians. Horsemen and a longbow is mm. pretty good. Okay. You need a lot of food for that, though. But yeah, yeah it's... Which I do not have right now, because I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so again, I'm not gonna go on about production, you get at this point. Yeah. Um... Alright. Let me show you... Where did I play a game? Um, I think I watched you play English last night. It was really sexy. Wow! What? It was good. Jesus! Oh my god! We're sexy. on Twitch TV. <laughs> oh, I think I watched this one. So don't show me this one. Earlier? Yeah. Was this one today? Yeah. You played? Didn't you play last this night? This guy was like 48 and two today. Damn. Not anymore. Go for it. Okay. I want to show you because I did, did the you, build did you I just showed you. Today? Oh, yeah. I thought you played him yesterday as well. Most probably. You also played Delhi. Three sheep? Enough to age him? No. That is. Not correct. Okay. And even if you age up, you're going to run out of food right after. Okay, so what did I want to show you? So look, the scout goes to the middle. Do you see what I did? I got to the middle and I turned. Yeah, because you were like, I see you. See girl. what we both do. Yeah. We're both Ooh. going upwards. So if you look at my scouting pattern here. You're like, I so I'm not going there. If oh. I go if I go there like this, you then it's time. it's not in it's inefficient. And mm -hmm. also I risk off so if I go like this and I continue, if his scout turns here, I'm fucked. I mm. lost all the sheep here. Mm. Because he's gonna be in front of me. You cannot let the enemy scout be in front of me. Now you have enough sheep. So now I'm, I'm dropping off. Very nice. And now I continue. I just dropped off and I just continue like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't pass the same spots and I'm getting the most Ooh. scouting possible. That's a lot of sheep. I, I, would love I mean, that. Prairie has double the sheep okay. than normal maps, but yeah. Okay. Just gonna say, cause damn. So see, I'm no risk of losing the or running out. Yeah. So now I, I don't need to go back. See, now I'm, I can just continue, and I can just scout this whole base because I dropped off like six extra sheep, which is plenty. Mm -hmm. So now I go around and now I check. I see his scout is here, so I'm like, okay, I scout it there, so I can go upwards mm -hmm. and scout more. Maybe he Ooh, see get that. Sheep. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. And now, because I'm overlapping, I'm just gonna scout this little bit of extra, and then I'm gonna, I think, go home. And then I can drop off and go down, or, because my age are finished, I can go past. So if you look, look, look how much map was discovered. And now the scout goes with the units. Are you playing that one specific build just so you can show me your No, it's a good build. Oh. I, I do that build because I like it. Oh. So this game, I went with the... Uh, so, don't do this. Do not try this at home. I went with the English villager to uh -huh. make a tower, which I told you not to do. Because his gold is forward and he's playing oh. Delhi. That is risky, and his woodline yeah. is here. So I figured if I make a tower here, I could deny woodline and gold, which would be really good. I would not do this normally. If his gold was in the back, I would not pull mm. the villager. I would just do the normal stuff. So this is a pretty good spot for you. So he loses the scout, which is terrible. I see him running away. So now what I go is I go for the wood. He's gonna try deny. Game's over, isn't it? <laughs> it's not game over, but... So this matchup is extremely daily favored. Yeah. So I have two spears and five longbows and a scout. So he is now forced to make units. And not only forced to make, he's forced to over make units by a lot. Because in order to beat this, he's gonna need way more units. He can't just trade, he needs to beat it. Because you can kite with English. Behind this, I'm going to second TC. Um, I actually, because I'm... Uh, uh, what's it called? Because I uh, I put a lot of pressure, I uh, I continued units. Okay. That's beside the point. We're not gonna talk about the build specifically. If you look, my buildings. Look at that. That's a farm. That's a farm. That's a farm. That's a farm. So it's very clean, like clean in the front. And if you ever need to kite melee units, you can go in between here mm. and kite them around your PC. So I'm gonna speed up. I'm not gonna pay attention to the attack too much. If you mess it up. Ah. Okay. You try to sneak in to capture a sacred cell. Snap his neck. 
<laughs> so now because I pushed him off of these things, I know he has to get wood somewhere. So I went around, nothing, nothing, nothing. Look at that. There's like 20 villagers running, idle time. And now I see. See, this is the thing. You see this and you keep attacking. I saw that that's a lot of units. Like that's eight archers, I have five longbows, or seven here. So I'm like, okay, I don't need to fight. I need to regather my units here. And this is what I was talking about. I got a little bit of a... Uh, sneaky upgrade now. Yeah, because I had the tower in the position. Mm -hmm. So now look, I see he's coming, so I'm not looking to fight. Obviously I, I gotta, right? But I'm still kiting away. I'm kiting away from my base. So I killed like three, four horsemen and three, four archers. And meanwhile I have another army already ready. Because I, I dragged him away from where I was Your second TC is underway. Yeah, my second TC is underway. Okay, you made it there. Why? So on this map, the biggest issue is the wood. So I made it next to the wood because of it. Okay. Yeah, usually if this was a normal map, I'd probably make it here. Mm -hmm. Another place, I could make TCs maybe there. But I like my TC a bit forward with the English if I can because of the aura. Okay. So I'm going to speed up. So if you look at the building layout, I'm just building them forward. This is okay to build because farms can fit here. So it's not a big deal. Yeah. So this game, I'm already ahead in eco because I, I did a, a decent job decapturing the sacred sites. And I just saw all these horsemen here. So I just go like for a push even though this is not too too many units and again his villagers are running they're idle which is not good so the reason why i'm playing this replay is because i want to show you what happens so he gets castle i'm gonna rush castle too Hmm? Look, more houses, you know, just blocking this shit more and more. So now I age up, and again, this is another like tower basically protecting my farms. So the reason why I showed it, wanted to show you this great plan is because first you can see the, the buildings, how they're all placed, first of all, next to each other, like walls and stuff. But I did pretty well this game. Uh, I'm super out of workers, but it's Delhi, so it has a lot of gold passes from relics and sacred sites. So the game comes down to him keep dropping. Why don't you keep my pressure on? What? I feel like you didn't do anything now. Like you didn't put a lot of pressure. Is it just because it's only you and? He has 22 men at arms and five knights. Okay, and how are you gonna find men at arms in this case? Cross crossbows. I crossbows and I go my own way So this is where I was too greedy. I could have made a keep here, which I should have, because I'm on 3 TC now and I'm super far ahead. And I'm, I'm getting a lot of stone, so that was the plan. But I was like, nah, I can probably fight him. And then Mangonel arrived, and uh, that was a problem. So. So why did I want to show you this? If my farms were here, here, I would lose the game. Immediately. But because my farms were in the back, I, he, he made a keep, and that's great. It gives him a... I mean, I tried to make my own keep here, it did not work. He might put his mango so I couldn't kill it. But this keep actually doesn't do anything. And a lot of people panic in this case, and after this game, a lot of people in my Twitch chat are like, Oh my god, you kept calm and collected. And it's like... This keep doesn't do anything because it, it attacks this. So what I did later is I unkeybound these two there so they don't produce anymore because they're just gonna die. I made extra workshops in the back so my stuff doesn't die. And I had my gold, I had my food, and I had my wood line, so I was fine. So now he's fighting on the PC, and this is where you do like that shit damage as, as English. Yeah, so I made a keep here in case he dives. He's gonna go to a PC with a lot of villagers. 
the main middle guys here. Oh, he makes it up. He makes it up. He doesn't reach anything. I kill some workers here. And because I have better eco, even if I trade poorly, it's still fine. Now I make traps, and they have attack speed as well. My spring will tell. My spring will tell attack speed. So even if he makes siege versus siege, I have the attack speed. I got the uh, network of castle immediately. But it says 20, it should be 50, but it's actually not 50. It's, uh, well, he can't protect them. He can't run in here with the or whatever. Also, I made a keep around, so I was fucking at the other point. So this is all I Yeah, so that's why I wanted to show this one because of the scouting and because of the the building placement um, as well. Okay. I don't know if there were any other I good like that. games. That is really good. See. You should play more English. No, I do. I played it a lot, but I kept getting fucking uh, same. <laughs> I love how your match history is just like victory. Do you want to see this just for fun? Yeah. So this is this is uh, how English versus English is, or at least that's how I like to play it. Some people still like to put pressure. So he went for second TC, mm -hmm. and I went for fast castle. Mm -hmm. This is not going to be too educational because you're, you're no you're already, do this at all. you're already doing the thing that works for you, so that's good. So I went, I go for the wheelbarrow build, remember that one? Oh yeah, what is that? <laughs> so I'm just gonna blast it and speed it through. So the map was pretty good for me, so I was like, oh, that's a nice layout. And you're gonna see something magical. Hell yeah. Alright, so he's... Look at this. Look at this. No, no, no. No, no, so no. So, you need to coach this guy and then he will get all the way to Conqueror 3. I oh, know he's Conqueror 3. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, he's getting second TC. And he's gonna make up little longbows, which is, by the way, good idea from him. So, it's, it's the same idea. He sees this. So even one longbow is gonna force me to make walls or units, and I see it's one longbow, but I still gotta do this because if he puts it like here, then it's just annoying. The conquer villager should go back as well. Though. You can, but it's less range. no, but it's less range, and also you can just add ten more. Oh yeah. That's cool. So here I just rush castle. Oh my god, you are. You're like pumping. Come on, look at me now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stables go up. Jesus. And he's like, I have two long mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't overcommit, so that was good for me. So now he tries to go in to the season the age up. Nice. Make more stables, make monastery, get the relics. So now he's trying to rush castle. As fast as he can. And this is why knights are fighting as well. So if he can't roll in time. And I just roll for the gold, because I have an age up. So I need to deny his gold to not let him do age up. Or even if he does, to not be able to make gold units. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm vacuuming all the relics in the map. See that move? Mm -hmm. You charge, the spear braces, you move away, the spear loses the brace, and you come back and beat his ass. He did it again with that girl, holy shit. You so... You charge! You see, he's not mining any gold. Ah! Where do we build farms? Not there. Not at the front. Not there. Put them not at the there. Back. And you're about to see why not in the front. You see? He loses the brace again. Oh, 
Oh my god, your my throat is insane. So we lose them up. So now, where does this guy go? And this one? They go to the ambulance! Right? I love them. They get healed to cool. So this is why you don't do a farm. He's just idling. Even if I don't kill him, he's just idling the farms. This guy's gonna go back home. Now these go back to him. Now we go around. And even though he's on three TCs, I actually have three sacred sets. And I got five relics soon. Holy shit. So now I have sh cracked on a door. Like more idle time. What do you ask for? Like, you can see it's going to come for us. We ran right into that. We got tickled. We send him back to healing. We got a good time. Cross level. Cross level. I think I went like 5. I didn't add more yet. I think I add soon. Oh now I got God, some scores. Ooh. So now we got Abby of Kings forward. The, the Abby of Kings um, mobile. Abby of Kings. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. And now they can't kill the rest. I mean, five spears until 15 minutes. I knew it And now with plus two armor, range armor, I can just go on the PC and go on the PC. So. I see. That's interesting. Maybe that's like when I reach diamond, I'm gonna try that. Hmm. It's not hard diamond. to do. Yeah. It's the harder thing to do is the mass knight. Yeah. Because you got a micro, but rushing castle English versus English is not that hard if you get a decent spawn because you can just wall and then they can't do anything. Mm. Or you just make a tower. Interesting. But So uh, guys in the chat, did any of you learn anything today? Did you just coach eight hundred people at the same time? No. Turn down the game sound a bit? Mm, next time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why redo everything and game sound lower. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's, I was too far in the back. Oh, okay. So, what you need to work on... Scouting. Mm -hmm. Just, if you if you are not sure how to do it on some app, just open any of the match histories. Okay, you can open match history. Just go on... Just look on, on my Twitch VOD, where the way I scout. Or I can just call you from the other room and be like, did my scout run the right way? And then you're like, no. Sure. Or that. <laughs> um, buildings in the front. Party in the back. Party in the back. Hell That's right. Hell yeah. Farming in the back. Yeah. That's number two. What else you got? Uh, Don't block possible farms with shitty buildings. Right, but that's the same. Yeah, but right. I just want to spell it out. I'm a whammon. You always make a little note. Right? Like this. This one is not sticking. I got light. Take a little note and make it like this. Yeah. Like I'm your monitor. And what do I write? And put. Wait, 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 put do I, I. doesn't stick. And write, do I know what he's doing? If you don't know what he's doing, you're not scouting enough. I, I said, what's he doing? Right. <laughs> uh, Better TC position? That's not so no, important. No, don't because... write also don't over make units. Okay. Five longbows, three spears. Just go for that. Eleven on wood, then the stone, don't fuck it up. And then you rally one TC. On to go. And then one on to food. Oh. oh yeah, because they're all on the food. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. And then if you have too much food, what do you do? You make units? No, you make units anyway. You can send some to the wood. Oh, okay. And then don't have too many on gold. Like five, six is enough. Okay. Maybe eight. Maybe, maybe If you're ten. gonna make some men at arms. No, but you had thousand gold earlier. That was an accident. And also you can make eco upgrades. That's why you put them on gold. You want to make eco upgrades. And then when you do all eco upgrades and blacksmith shit, then you start to look for Asia. What are you saying, Otter Totem? Otter. 
the dog has inserted. She wants coaching as well. She wants coaching on being the best dog. <laughs> yeah, obviously if you're getting attacked or something, like if you're attacking a French player, and let's say you see a knight passing through, just make two more spears and put them on gold yeah, or stone. Yeah, and hold them. And then yeah. select all military and move forward to the <laughs> No, you can still attack. That's the thing. If you attack and he attacks, you your army is stronger. You have like yeah. eight, nine units. He's got one knight. You can That's defend true. that with two spears. Okay. So, yeah. You've got a big brain and a lot of knowledge to share, and I appreciate it. I'm going to put this into practice. Do you have any other questions? Any matchups? Any Mongols. whatever? I fucking can't stand Mongols. All right, what is the problem? The Mongols just run right over me. They're like unit printing factories because they double produce. That double production lasts for like two cycles. Okay. Of but, castle units. But I'm dead after that two cycles of castle units. Then you're doing something wrong. Okay, but do I make more units to do? I need to know what he's doing. If I know what he's doing, that answers all my exactly. questions. Exactly. Is he? This is it. Does he What's have he like five on gold and he's trying to get castle? Then you attack. Okay. And he's gonna go castle. Is he uh, got zero on gold and he's pure producing horseman archer? Then you can chill and just let him kill himself on uh, you. I know I should be scouting. I think that's the number one thing. The moment I see what he's doing, my responses are gonna be a lot better. Huh. So yeah. Oh, by the way, Zor 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 in the chat, please use my new dog emote. I have a new GG dog emote that is very good. It has finally been approved. So, GG dog has a good, really finally good Finally been approved? Yeah, I finally, yeah, it took, an, it took ages. I'm not partner, I'm affiliate, so. You guys gotta wait. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? They made it, back in the day, they had like partners uh, have to be approved emotes, but it's like faster because you yeah. have people that were doing it. Yeah. And then they just put it automatic because now there's so many partners that yeah, they but... can't keep track. So now it's like you can upload, I can upload whatever and it's going to get approved and I might get banned for it later, yeah. but it doesn't have to go through the process. Look, look, there's, look, there's Monka S dog. It's, it's there. It's Monka S dog. <laughs> it's Monka S dog. This is my favorite. Which one? This one. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. Yeah. It's just a picture of her. Where's me? I don't know. I didn't want to make my brand you. What the fuck? I don't know. What? You don't like my emotes? No, I, there should be an emote of me. I mean, I can put you next. I can do one of these. You want to do a snack dog? Yeah, I can be a... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Guys, uh, we were supposed to do this two days ago, but I didn't stream on Sunday. Then Wayman got busy on Monday. So we're going to try to do the next coaching in two days. So we're not going to really? wait for... Yeah. Woo! Because we were late and you got you to gotta get to All work, right. sister. Tomorrow I'll work a lot. I have morning off and I have the evening off. So I'm going to fucking play. Today was my break day. Okay. That's a dynamite right there. Boom, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. All right. But yeah, we're probably going to do it in two days. So just your goal is to practice these things we talked about. Yep. Next time... We do like We watch your replay. No, we don't really late games. <laughs> Next time we watch your replays, I want to see you lose to some other stupid shit. <laughs> Not the same. Not self-defeating kind of stuff. Because <laughs> right now what I'm seeing is you actually won these games. You, you won all your games. You won the games you won and you also beat yourself in the games you lost. So your her win record is pretty good. Now we gotta see some games where the opponent beats you. <laughs> okay. okay. And then we gotta improve on that. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. So, do you after seeing these losses, do you think I can still make diamond in twenty five days? Yeah. Okay. Diamond's easy. For you. No, for you too. For you. No, I can already see the improvement. Oh, I'm so. Did bad. a little sheep. Your yeah. start is looking a lot better. I'm you bad. just need reminders, and also, you compared to like. Conquers, you haven't played any games. Yeah, that's true. Like, I you've played like what, 30 games? Yeah. 20? No, no, I've played nothing. Okay, a few more. On like, in my life? No, 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 in like, past however long. Like, in the last month? No, not last month since we started. Oh, probably like 25? 
Yeah, I played that today and yesterday. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's not a lot. I'm not saying that to flex. I'm just yeah. saying it's a good thing. You haven't played a lot, yeah. and you're already fighting them diamonds. I'm yeah. I'm already getting the diamonds. one. The That's thing. True. The thing That's is, true. I'm fighting diamonds. You think the diamond is so far away, but you're already fighting diamonds. That's true. That's really cool, isn't it? And if you get 50% win rate against diamonds, you're you're getting diamond. diamonds. Holy shit, That's how it works. Guys, I went from fighting golds on the first day to fighting very low plats and high golds to fighting diamonds every now and again and getting my ass handed to me. It's getting... And there's always like this, wherever you try to improve, there's always this spot where you just start losing a lot. And that's normal. Yeah. No, I've, I've definitely had that. Huh. Definitely. She's pro already. Soon diamonds will be your best friend, women. They already are, brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop flexing. All right. Okay, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. This was Women to almost said a Grandmaster episode, episode number two. Uh, we're gonna be back in. Well, I don't know when on YouTube, but on Twitch, we'll probably do it in about two days. So right now, it is Tuesday. Probably gonna do it Thursday. I would imagine. Really? Oh, wait, but Thursday I'm streaming early in the day. Maybe we'll do it on Friday. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Twitch gamers, let's keep going. <laughs>